thank you very much. Um, just to build a bridge to, uh, to Singapore as well, you uh, mentioned the uh, aquapuncture uh, plans. Yes. And I, I was just wondering about the status of the plans. Where, where are you? Uh, are they uh, getting any uh, 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 traction uh, here? And, and uh, a related question is, what do you think is, uh, is, is most needed for, for Singapore? What are the, the, the big water challenges for Singapore in, uh, in the future that should, should uh, definitely be addressed? I'll tell you first uh, how I did it in the Netherlands. I started an association for aquaculture in Delft. And then uh, Rotterdam, Vlaardingen, Maasluis, Midden Delftland, Westland, all municipalities, The Hague, uh, Gouda, Al van der Rijn became all members. I said to them, you do not use your waterways. And I said to them, Good plans have their roots in the past and are pointing to the future. So I told them, it's a very good question, by the way. <laughs> I, 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 told, I told them, all fruit, vegetables, milk, uh, cattle, persons were on the waterway transported. But it was also an open sewer. And what happened, the railroads came into being, which were very much faster, and the roads came into being. And the water was open sewer. So what happened, canals were filled in, the city went, turned their back to the waterway system, and the waterway system became obsolete. But what happens now, we have discovered the value of these waterways. We see in Amsterdam the Musea, the Anne Frank House, and the cruises on the waterway are the three tops. Now we have also one in The Hague, and there's coming a second and a third. So we discovered the slow waterway as very attractive to live nearby and to use it for concerts, for all these events. I mentioned here Dragon Boat Festival, for instance. So we rediscovered the importance of the waterways and their waterfronts. And to give you hard examples, you have here what is the main beer producer, tiger produce. Tiger. We have the three biggest in the world are the international breweries, Anheuser Busch, the second one is Sepp Miller, the third one is Heineken. Now, Heineken said, we, trend, we export beer all over the world, bottled beer in green uh, bottles, two thirds through Rotterdam, still in the top 10, but Singapore above it, uh, and one third through Antwerp. And we do it, we use 100,000 of trucks. We have two big refineries. So we install next to one a inland container terminal, and next to the other one, another inland container terminal. terminal. Now they have removed over 100,000 truck rides from the roads all over water. It's very successful. That's one example. Second example. We have a yacht builder who gets uh, asked by sheikhs from the Middle East to build bigger and bigger yachts. And they went to the province of South Holland. The sluice is too small. We want a bigger uh, sluice to get the yachts towards the sea. And then Rotterdam said, of uh, the province of South Holland said, all right, but can you help pay for it? And no problem. Do you want a million or more? So a new sluice came into being. And now tourism and recreation across water, now married peoples want their right bride and bridegroom over water 
to a pavilion to cherish their marriage and people come and visit the inner cities, go to the museum, are shopping. And then we discovered that tourism recreation is $4 billion only in the Netherlands with 30,000 direct employees. So we discovered the importance of water. Now we have to come back to Singapore. Singapore River, there were also ships used to be there. In the old pictures, yeah, we had ships. Huh? So there is a tremendous, already, the people in Singapore are very smart, so they already discovered it themselves, because you have now cruise rides, you have dragon boat races, you have cruise rides to the marina barrage, but also in the Marina Bay and up Singapore River. But you can also create Kalang River. Already, Herbert Dreisaitl, who is now in this period also in Singapore, uh, has transformed a section of Kalang River into a beautiful parking space and letting water tell its story. So there is a tremendous, what you have to do is you have to look at all the catchment areas of all the small rivers of Singapore and the water reservoirs and see to it, not only to the waterway system but also to the water fronts, how you can develop it in an environmental friendly way because one of the groups was flora and fauna and microorganisms in the water system but also along the water fronts and when you do it systematically, you can have lots of employment, economy, but also for the environment. So you see already section of the Cullen Canal uh, has been transformed. Eh? You have seen it, you know it. Uh, so there's lots of opportunity. But already, the people from Singapore have already discovered it themselves. So Preaching by me is not absolutely necessary. Maybe a little bit extra inspiration, yes. But there are opportunities for Singapore. <laughs>